Spring has sprung, baseball has started, and comics contain a hit final word cutoff. That's right, this is Brian with Men's Comics. In this video, I'm gonna give you my picks for comics that are hitting final word cutoff this coming Monday night. Once again, that is always that caveat. They usually hit a little bit sooner if you're DC Comics. So make sure if you wanna get your orders in, you check with your LCS, check with your order online, and get those orders in, and guarantee yourself a copy so you're not chasing them on release day. Got some great picks this week, starting with Image Comics. We get that Walking Dead Deluxe number 14. These issues, of course, have been reprinting the original series in color, but the great thing about them is they've had some fantastic covers, and I've been adding these past couple weeks because I love those connecting Dave Raposa variants, and this one's gonna continue that. Once again, issues 13 through 18 will have those Dave Raposa connecting variants. This one also just got added right before Final Art Cutoff, that special AAPI variant. So make sure if that's something that interests you, you're aware of it, and you get your order in for it before it hits Final Art Cutoff. Speaking of Dave Raposa, the next one I'm talking about is from Dark Horse Comics. And I've been talking about this series for quite a while now, but we get that God of War Fallen God number three. Another gorgeous Dave Raposa cover on here. I'm still high on these God of War series. One, great read, but I'm a true fan of the video game. And then seeing how all these video games are starting to come to other forms of media, especially from Sony. We're getting Uncharted, we're getting Last of Us, we're getting Twisted Metal. One big series I haven't heard named yet, but I know probably is coming is God of War. So great series, great art, and I'm sure at some point we're going to get a movie or TV series for God of War. And if you haven't played this video game and you have a PlayStation, this is one. Definitely recommend picking up. All these games are great. Next from IDW, we get that Star Wars High Republic Adventures number four. Keep saying I'm higher on this one. I've enjoyed this series better than the actual Marvel High Republic. Both are great, no doubt but I'm still loving the IDW series. This one has that regular cover as well as that incentive one in 10 variant. Then the big release from Marvel hitting Final Order Cutoff, we get that Heroes Reborn number one. Here we find out what the world would be like if there were no Avengers and only the Squadron Supreme as the Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Bunch of great covers for this one. Of course, the one that a lot of people pay attention to is the Art Germ cover, but Art Germ aside, there are some other great covers in here. This is one where I always say, hey, pick the covers you like and pick that up. But Here's Your Born looks to be major Marvel storyline, at least for seven issues. And speaking of Art Germ, we're getting a great cover from Art Germ also with DC Comics, with DC Festival of Heroes, the Asian superhero celebration number one. Imagine trade dresser just take up that whole book. <laughs> but either way, this have three different covers for it. You can have that regular cover. You got an art germ, but then there's also a monkey prince design variant. We all love how those design variants are. And in this issue, we get introduced to the monkey prince. So that's one to pay attention for also. I like that art germ variant, kind of that callback to Batgirl 12 from years past. But either way, very similar to that Marvel Heroes Reborn cover as well. I like the art germ, but we also talk about that monkey prince. Who knows how that'll be? So either way, I might try to pick up both. And then the next one I have is, this is just for cover art alone. Oh, I love, I'm a big sucker for cover swipes or homage variants. From Oni Press, we get that Rick and Morty Worlds Apart number four. That cover A for that has that great Captain America cover swipe. I'm not a big Rick and Morty fan, but I recognize that cover. And if you're collecting cover swipes and it's a big Captain America cover, this is one that might be worth picking up to add to your collection. Getting over into the indie showcase portion of the video. That's right. This was brought to you by Black Cape Comics at blackcapecomics.com. All the books talked about in this video, as well as others that are heading FOC, as well as some fantastic store exclusive variants are available at blackcapecomics.com. So make sure you check those out if you're looking for a place to get your pre-orders in and save yourself a little bit of discount. But the one we're talking about in the indie showcase this week is from Boom Studios, and we are getting wind number six. That's right, it was supposed to be a five-issue mini. We are going past that now with new issues and win number six. James Tynan, his attentions on all these other books that he's writing, and for good measure, Partner of Truth, Something's Killing Children, Batman. But Wind was supposed to be an original, just a graphic novel. They broke it up into single issues during the COVID pandemic to get comics into people's hands, and it's been spectacular. Now, if you're not a fantasy comic book reader, you might not. this might not be your cup of tea, but if you're a Tynan fan, 
Definitely recommend at least giving this a read, see what you think about it. One other thing I like about this is that regular cover B variant is absolutely gorgeous. That Gonzalez variant, she is an up and coming artist. I wouldn't say up and coming, because she is here. She has staked her flag and people are taking notice. And this cover is just as gorgeous. And just like I always do at the end of this video, talk about those additional printings heading final order cutoff. We have some great additional printings as well. From Image Comics, we're getting Noctera number two, hitting that second print, another spectacular series that people, everyone's been enjoying. I'm telling you, Image has hit that rebound about six months ago and they are putting out some bangers right now. And one of those bangers that was just released this past week was that Silver Coin number one, that Chip Zdarsky book. It is also hitting Final Art Cutoff with a second print as well. And from Marvel, we get that Carnage Black, White, and Blood number one second print. People love those Gleason covers. So that's getting second print. And then over to Boom Berserker number one is getting an additional fourth print. Those additional prints are going crazy right now. I. I can't explain it. Comics in general are just going crazy right now. But Berserker number one hitting that fourth print. And from Aftershock, we are getting We Live number five hitting a second print. I don't recall too many times where you see, especially in Aftershock series, five issues in, selling out, getting a second print. So if you aren't paying attention to We Live, that might be something you want to take a look at. But there it is, guys. Those are my picks for comics that are hitting final or cutoff this coming Monday night. Earlier for your DC, of course. But once again, make sure you contact your LCS. Make sure you get your orders in online. Secure yourself a copy. That way you're not chasing them on release day. Unless that's your thing. There's Wednesday Warriors out there that that's what they love to do. And there's no problem with that. Buy what you like, guys. This is Brian with Some Men's Comics. See you in the next video.